Good evening, everyone, and good afternoon, depending on where you are living in the world right now. It's a sunny day here in California. We had rain yesterday, and we're blessed to have rain and sunshine. I'm so glad you have joined me. And today I'm going to introduce you to Archangel Metatron in a little while. First, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Mary E. Gates. I'm an angel and crystal therapist. The angels have guided me to use crystals for healing of others and as also of myself. I'm not a trained medical doctor, but I can say that angels and crystals work very well with your current medical um, advice. And if you're taking medication, crystals and angels escalate your healing. Again, I'm glad you're here. Right now I would like to do a prayer. I have, I've just have my candle lit for peace and for bringing in the divine energy. And this is a prayer that was written by Whitney Holper, a prayer dedicated to Archangel Metatron. Metatron, I thank God for making you so diligent about observing and recording what happens both on earth and in heaven in God's book of life. Please guide me to make the best choices in life so I can avoid unnecessary regrets and build a strong spiritual legacy. Show me how powerful I can become when I live in faith rather than living in fear. Teach me how to use my spiritual gifts and power to bring glory to God and make the world a better place to live in. Amen. Now I would like to introduce you to Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron is one of two angels that worked, that walked on earth within, and also within the heavenly spheres who were once humans. He was known as Enoch and his spiritual brother Archangel Sandalphon was known as Elijah on earth. It was written that both walked with God and were taken up to heaven where they became archangels. Metatron is known as the angel of life. He guards the tree of life and writes down the good deeds people have done on earth as well as what happens in heaven. And this book of life is what he writes in, and it's also called the Akashic Records, which is the recordings of the good deeds we have done. He is also associated with sacred geometry. He is pictured with his Metatron cube, or called the Star of David, which is a 3D Merkaba, or called Merkaba. And it's also known as the Ascension Vehicle. And I have a picture of this, and you've probably seen this um, whenever you uh, see artwork of Archangel Metatron. It's there at the bottom of the book. And that's the sacred, that's his Metatron cube. Sometimes when he is near us, we'll see the patterns and the visions of various shapes um, and all the lines connect to the center. You can call upon this angel to heal all of your chakras by sending, by asking him to send his Metatron cube down through your crown chakra all the way through to your feet chakras for healing of our bodies and balancing our chakras and also raising our vibration. There is speculation in the Jewish scripture that Metatron is the angel that led the children of Israel out of the wilderness. It is also thought that he was also the angel that came to Abraham to stop Abraham from sacrificing his son Isaac to God. Metatron is also known as the first and last of the archangels and he is called the Chancellor of Heaven, the Angel of the Covenant, and the King of the Angels. His heavenly function is to supervise the recording of all of our deeds in the Book of Life, called the Akashic Records. He is in charge with sustaining human life 
and acts as the bridge between the divine and mankind. We can seek counsel from him by asking him to help us find the proper measure for every action we take in our lives. At one level, this means helping us to find the balance in our lives. When we give, we must receive. So that balance is we learn to give out and then we learn to keep for ourselves the balance in giving and receiving. This enables us to maintain well-defined boundaries and also to keep a clear sense of self, which is so necessary if we are to succeed in filling our potential within the world of form. He can also help us find the proper measure in love, in work, and in re re recreation so that we live a balanced and healthy life, which is rich in harmony and serenity. He will also be a witness to the good we do, perhaps those acts of love and kindness that we do nobody else will notice, but Archangel Metatron does, and he writes them in the Book of Life, as so they are recorded. He can also help us when we have put effort and energy into making something work. For instance, it could be anything from trying to improve our relationship, our love relationship, our work relationships, losing weight, or giving up an addiction, or an unhealthy habit, to throwing ourselves fully into a cause or a team effort. We can pray to Archangel Metatron to guide our efforts and help us to find the right measure for our output and activities. We ask this angel in our meditation to assist us in knowing when enough is enough or when we need to do more for ourselves or others or to let things go that no longer serve us and that is the enough and the enough. Know that Metatron is here with you right now and he is ready to help you release that which no longer serves you. All you need to do is ask from an open heart. Metatron, please help me with and then state what you want help with. Or you can say, Metatron, take this negativity from me, please. Metatron can help you cut cords and attachments while helping you tap into your inner connection with the divine light. Metatron also looks over our children and guards them and is closely aligned with children and adults who are very sensitive to the realms of spirit. He is the guardian of the indigo, indigo children, indigo adults, the rainbow, as well as the crystal children who are coming to earth with the already knowing of their path, which is to help Mother Earth and bring light into Mother Earth for her healing. Since Archangel, my, excuse me, since Archangel Metatron led the children out of the wilderness thousands of years ago, he also leads the indigo children, rainbow children, and crystal children forward on their journey to help Mother Earth. These children, and as well as the adult indigos, tend to have an inner need to march to a beat of a different drum. They do their own thing, and they do not fit into a mold that society has placed them in. Much of how we have set things up here on Earth makes no sense to them, and it upsets them. They have a very hard time living in that stereotype. They don't see the need for labels, rules, and institutions. If it is not helpful in a divine order, they won't do it. They carry the revolutionary spirit and are here to shake things up. The indigo children, indigo adults, are also said to be star seeds, as well as the rainbow and crystal children. And they are very connected to nature and animals and the elementals. These adults and children are very tuned into Earth. And as you can imagine, they have huge energies and that light is protected by this angel and guarded, protecting them from any ones that can prey on their light. These indigos have action in mind. When, and when they come here to Earth, they care for her environment. It's like they already know 
that they are here to care for her environment and care for the animals that are here. Metatron is a take action angel and with his huge light he is able to guard these children and adults all over. He helps the light filled children find their own power and use it for the good and glory of all. He is also tasked with creating unity and power with helping people know truth within and the truth of all things within themselves and also to live in this truth and also to raise up the institution of education. These are all things the indigo, the indigo children have on their to-do list as well. He also guides us as parents of the indigo crystal and rainbow children to care for our children, to help them with their self-esteem and to help them with the struggles of being in their earth bodies on here on earth. Metatron can assist parents and children on finding these resources. More importantly, Metatron can assist with understanding who these children are and what their special needs are. They may have and in helping them to cope with living in this world of all these energies. Call upon this loving angel to guard your child, 